Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm here for you today with a New Year's Eve inspired makeup look using one of my favorite Christmas presents that I got, which is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I am so excited to break into this guy. It is so amazing. I just, this was one of like, I didn't ask for a lot of very specific things for Christmas. It was kind of like, oh, you guys know what I like. Um, but this is one of the things that I did specifically ask for and I'm so glad I got it. So, um, I really want to focus this look around um, the two shades, two of my favorite shades in the palette, um, which are 1987 and Punk. So we're just going to kind of see what happens. I haven't really planned this out a lot. Um, I just know that I want to use those two colors and that I want to do a red lip. So here goes nothing. So I've already um, based my face with a little bit of Fix Plus. Um, and then I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation on a Morphe M439 and go to town on my face. Um, let me shake it a little bit. Okay. Just gonna put a few drops right on the brush. And Alright, start buffing that out. Might need a little more, I didn't put a lot on. Yep, I'm also very red today. So before I try and do any more of my cheeks, I'm actually going to take um, my e.l.f. tone correcting um, primer. Just put a tiny bit of that on. Even though I don't usually like to use a lot of primer with this, I'm just really red, so I feel like I need to do a little bit of tone correcting. Um, yeah, didn't think I was that red, but I am. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this foundation and hope that we can cover up some of that redness in my cheeks. I really like how this brush works. This was like one of the other things that I actually asked for for Christmas and I'm obsessed with it already. All right. Nice sheer layer of foundation. Don't need too much. All right. Then I'm going to go in with my NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer in vanilla go under my eyes and any problematic areas. I'm running really low on this, which has been fine because I've been using my Urban Decay naked a lot more than this, but I'm just like, oh, I'm going to want more of this fairly soon. Okay. And then I'm going to go back in with that Morphe brush for my chin. And under my eyes a little bit. Just to kind of smooth that down. I also just cleaned all my brushes yesterday. And it's so nice to be like using all clean brushes. I right, just kind of tap that down with my fingers to kind of seal it off. Okay. Oh, I look so sleepy still, you guys. I'm like half asleep. All right, and then I take my Elf HD under eye setting powder, the usual. Not much has changed in the few months since you've seen a makeup tutorial from me. Um, and an Elf uh, mineral powder brush. Wake up, Kayla, wake up. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Under eyes are set. Next, I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Again, not much has changed. Um, and my Elf Kabuki brush. And just set down the rest of my face before I start doing my eyes. All right. So let's move all the skin products out of the way. Um, instead of using an eye primer today, I'm gonna use my NYX Milk Pencil. I just actually bought a new one of these because I let people borrow mine for Greek Week and it, now it's destroyed. So I had to buy a new one. So I'm gonna cover most of my eyelid in this and I'll blend it out with my fingers. I want the color, that gold, to really pop. Um, and so I'm gonna prime my eyes with white to make sure it does. And you saw it was a little in the corner because I'm gonna do something sparkly in there, I'm sure. It's New Year's, gotta be sparkly. to dive on into the Majestic palette, which I'm so excited about. My beautiful Gwen Stefani palette. Ugh. Um, all right, I'm gonna take a Morphe M441 and the shade Anaheim, and I'm gonna pop that into my crease as my transition color. Pop that all the way through the crease. Anaheim, which is the second one on the second row. Alright, and then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush if I can find it. And just kind of buff out those edges a little bit. So I don't want you to really be able to see this color too much. All right. And then I'm going to take just my usual Sonia Kashuk shader brush and start taking 1987 onto my lid. Um, yeah. Concentrating it mostly on the inner corner in the center, but putting it on the entirety of the lid. I love this color so much, you guys. So pretty. I'm going to go back in with that same um, M441 and Anaheim again and just kind of blend out the top of that gold and start adding a little bit of Anaheim into my outer corner, my outer V. And just kind of blending this all through, a little bit into the outer corner. And taking it up a little more. And then again, taking that clean blending brush and 
making it very smooth on the outside. Don't want there to be any sharp lines in this look. Alright, then I'm going to brush off most of Anaheim from that brush and start taking punk. No. I'm going to take a little bit more of a detailed brush for that. This is just an e.l.f. Um, blending brush, but it's so small that I don't even count that as a blending brush. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of punk on it. Not a lot. I'm going to be very careful with how much I add at a time of this color. Um, and start working in the outer edge of the crease in the outer corner um, with punk. And then we're going to go back in with more 1987 in a little bit. Um, I just want to darken up this corner. And then blend, blend. Ooh, this looks so rough, but it's going to look perfect in the end. Trust me, trust me, trust me. So I'm just going to kind of blend as I go. Um, yeah. Blending as I go. Ooh, this shadow is packing on really heavy. <sighs> yep. Blending, blending, blending. go in with 1987 again over the top of the center Gorgeous. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, and then I'll be right back. All right, so next up we are going to do, um, hmm, what are we going to do? Um, let me pull out another one of my favorites. All right, I'm going to take ColourPop XO, and... Um, what brush do I want to take with this? Take this itty bitty Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, and I'm going to apply, oh, I just hit pan on this. That's so sad. This is one of my favorite colors that they don't make anymore. No. Okay, anyway, now that I'm done with that little mini panic attack, I'm going to take XO and put that into my inner corner. Brighten that up. All right. So that's that. And then I'm going to take this um, MAC uh, 212 um, special edition brush um, and take Punk very, very carefully because I've noticed this color has a lot of payoff. Um, on to the lower lash line. Um, probably going only about a third of the way in. Eh. About half. Um. 
All right, and then I'm going to take that brush that has uh, Anaheim on it and just kind of blend that a little bit so it's not super harsh. Oh, oh my gosh. My eyes started watering. <laughs> All right, so blend that out a little more. I actually really like this eye look a lot. Woo, okay. Um, next up, I didn't get up my stuff for my brows. <laughs> um, all right, where's my brow stuff? I'm just gonna take um, my Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Phil um, lash gel and just kind of tame these brows. I'm not gonna really do much with them because I'm growing them out so I can wax them into a better shape. Um, so I've been waxing them pretty thin for a long time, and I don't want them to be as thin anymore. So I'm growing them out, which makes it really hard to make them look good. So we're going with what I can do. Alright, so just a little bit of taming of the brows. Alright, so now that those are semi-tamed, we're going to go with that. Um, it's time for mascara, so I'm just going to curl my lashes real quick. You guys, I haven't worn like a full face of makeup, like full eyes in like so long right now. Um, okay, I'm going to take my MAC um, Black Extreme Mascara. <laughs> And put a couple coats of that on. Okay, and a little bit on my lower lashes as well. Alright. Um, hmm, what's next? What's next? Let's go. I don't know if I would ever want to use the blush that I got out. Let me think for a second. Um yeah, might as well. Okay, I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk blush brush, um, and this is the blush um, from the Ellie Golding collection by MAC, and it is I'll Hold My Breath, um, and I'm going to actually take, I think, we're going to see how it looks. We're going to go for it, because I'm being bold today. Um, a mix of the bronzer and the blush, um, a little bit of both, and apply that to my cheeks. Just a little bit. I don't want too much because I'm going to use another product that I'm really excited about. Um, right afterwards. A little more. My face is a little red on this side, so I'm not really seeing it super well, but that's fine. And then I'm actually just going to blend this out a little. Okay, and then I'm going to take from lots of Max new collections that I have stuff from just like sitting around, so that's what we're using. This is um, a beauty powder in Pearl Sunshine, which is from the new Fairy collection. Um, and I'm just going to take this powder brush and just kind of apply that straight over that blush. I really love this color. Ooh, it's really hot in my room. That's why I'm so flushed. Well, you guys, nothing to do with that blush I just put on. I was already flushed. Okay. Do do do. Um. Do I want a champagne pop it up? Yeah, I always want a champagne pop it up. Let's be real. So champagne pop. <laughs> 
just a little bit of that up my cheekbones. Nose, lip, forehead. All right, just a little. Oh my gosh, why am I so flush? This isn't fun, you guys. All right. Last but not least, we're going to go on to lips. And I'm going to be using this product I haven't used before, and it is the Rimmel. What are these called? Provoca Lip 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color, because you got to have a kiss proof lip color on New Year's Eve. Duh. So, um, this is in the shade, um, Kiss Me You Fool. Again, very fitting. Um, I just wanted to do a red lip, and so that's what we're going for. So, ooh, this is bright. I like this color a lot. Probably should have used a liner. This looks good. I like this color a lot. Wow, it's already like setting. I mean, put, to put the top coat on. And it's already hard to move. That is a good sign for something that is advertised to be kiss proof. <laughs> that I already can't move it. <laughs> Before putting on the lock coat. I love this color. This is really pretty. All right, and then I'm gonna put on the, they, they call it the Lock and Shine coat. Oh, it's a little sticky. It's, this is a little tiny bit sticky, but, hey, if it lasts, it's worth the stickiness to me at this point. The top coat isn't sticky. Just the lipstick is. It's making it feel a lot nicer on my lips, actually. All right. Then I'm gonna finish off with some Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh, my skin's finally calming down. Yay! All right, let me take down my hair. Let's take a look at this finished look. So I actually love this. Um, I always love a good gold eye. So this is like my thing. I love my eyes to be just like bright. So that's awesome. I like this lipstick a lot more than I was expecting. Um, I wasn't planning on using so many new products in this video, but you know, Gotta use up that Christmas makeup. So yeah, this is my New Year's look using the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a big old thumbs up and hopefully there'll be a lot more makeup tutorials and makeup related videos coming your way soon. I know there's a lot of like empties and favorites and planner stuff like right now coming onto my channel, um, but I'm slowly starting to be able to get more into uh, making makeup videos again. They just take a lot more time than other videos, so um, it's a little bit harder for me to film them, but I'm working on it. So I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great new year, and I will see you in 2016. Bye!